A normalization deal between Saudi Arabia and Israel is a question of when, not if. Both countries have so much to gain bilaterally from such an arrangement. It won't be a peace deal because they already have under the table relationships. Saudi Arabian leader Mohammed bin Salman, the effective leader, has met with Prime Minister Netanyahu in private. They have much to gain in terms of the economy, technology, trade, improved relations with the United States. So the big question is, will this deal happen whilst President Biden is in the White House? For that, we need to see a deal before the election season in the United States truly kicks off in the spring of next year. Time is short. For the Saudi Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, this deal would be historic, but he is perhaps not as desperate as the other two main architects. He can afford to wait. He doesn't have elections. He doesn't have a shaky coalition. President Biden, on the other hand, may wish to have a great foreign policy success to take into that election. Israel, Saudi Arabia deal, well, that would be huge. And it could go on to include other major Muslim majority states, such as Indonesia, perhaps even Pakistan. But the most desperate for a deal of all, the three main architects, will be Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel. He is in crisis at the moment, both because of his own legal troubles, he is up in front of court on bribery charges, but also because of the threats to his shaky, very extremist coalition. This would allow him to survive in power and to secure his legacy. The key issue for President Biden is, can he afford to allow Saudi Arabia to have all the items on its shopping list? This includes civilian nuclear power with an independent uranium enrichment program in Saudi Arabia. It also means Saudi Arabia becoming a major defense partner. There are many in the Democrat party who would object to this, who neither like Mohammed bin Salman nor Benjamin Netanyahu. The major challenge, however, is the issue of Palestine, the question of Palestinians. We do not know exactly how this will be dealt with. Saudi Arabia has made clear that it wishes to see some serious progress on this. It has been in regular discussions with the Palestinian leadership, who have also been in Saudi Arabia. Just quite where they will set the lines is not clear. The Israeli coalition, on the other hand, is extremely weak, and the extremist members of that coalition simply are not going to allow Netanyahu to give anything away to the Palestinians. It is therefore very hard to see how the American brokers, how President Biden can manage to take this forward if there is not something suitable for Palestinians. The problem might be if the deal falls far short of what Palestinians expect and demand. And that is their biggest fear. So Palestinians remain very nervous about what this deal could contain.